When it comes to Taiwan's health care, there's a striking disparity between urban and rural areas. Consider Gongliao District in New Taipei. It has only five doctors for 12,000 residents, 22 percent of whom are seniors. But fortunately for these elders, there is Dr. Li Zhongyi, who works at the local public health center. He's skilled in surgery and internal medicine, and he even makes house calls. Many have wondered why a successful Taipei surgeon like him would choose to treat ailments in a small country town. We found out why tonight in our Sunday special report. It's 6.30 in the morning. Already, a group of seniors has gathered in front of Gongliao District Public Health Center in New Taipei. They're here to see the doctor. Their other option is to visit Changgung Memorial Hospital in Keelong. There are only four buses a day to Keelong, so the choice isn't hard to make. I live in Audi village. Where can an old person go to see a doctor? All my kids are elsewhere. Who can take me? Yang Lingchun is 85 years old. Her younger family members have jobs out of town, so she has to rely on herself to get to a doctor. It's a plight shared by many of Gongliao's 2,900 seniors. <laughs> Dr. Lin directs the local public health center, and he's the one that seniors have lined up to see. This is his 13th year working with patients in Gongliao. He knows their conditions like the back of his hand, without having to refer to their medical records. He might say to me, Hui Xian, that grandma who came in last week, how is she? He remembers all the old folks around here, the ones that seldom come in and the frequent visitors. He remembers them all. A typical morning brings more than 50 patients. If the pharmacist takes a day off, Dr. Lin stands in as the pharmacist. Medical resources are sparse in Gongliao. According to health ministry data, Gongliao has only four doctors, one dentist, and one pharmacist spread over five clinics. Compared to Taipei's Da'an district, where medical facilities per capita are number one in the nation, the difference is stark. Da'an has a patient-doctor ratio of 350 to 1, whereas in Gongliao, it's 3,000 to 1. In the 13 years he's been here, Dr. Lin has turned the public health center into a small hospital with the full spectrum of specialty care. His efforts have not been in vain, as villagers give back as best as they know how. When my daughter was born, everyone took turns making fish soup for my wife. When my daughter got a little older, I was given white bait so that I could make her fish porridge. <laughs> to this day, older aunties come by with meals, worried he'll get hungry on the job. <laughs> Dr. Lin had been head surgeon at Taipei's Ren Ai Hospital. In 2005, he was invited to the public health department to establish a public health center in Gongliao. He had planned to return to Taipei at the end of his contract in 2011, but the locals of Gongliao refused to see him leave. They rounded up friends and neighbors to sign a petition, demanding that his contract be extended. It worked. But although the petition left the doctor deeply moved, he was torn between staying and leaving. I was hesitant. With any job, you think about the future and the potential promotions. I thought, if I stay, will my whole life be tied to this place? Will I have other opportunities in the future? In the end, it was the words of his wife that convinced him to stay on for at least another while. I went back to ask my wife about it. She said to me, a doctor who performs successful operations is not necessarily a good doctor. A truly good doctor is one who can keep these old folks and local people in good health.
So Dr. Lin chose to stay in Gongliao and keep watch over the health of its residents. In the years since, he's faced another problem. As patients age, they lose mobility and give up trying to get medical care. That causes their conditions to deteriorate. That's why he decided to make house calls. I'm out. Many bedridden seniors have to rely on nasogastric tube feeding for their nutrients. The tube needs to be changed at least once a month to prevent infection. Over the past 10 years or so, I've seen how quickly the health of these seniors declines. At the start, the patient arrives on a motorbike. Then you see him come on an adult tricycle. Finally, he walks in with the help of a foreign care worker. How long have I got left? I think I'll work here as long as I'm able to, as this has become my second home. This is work I want to do. Taiwan officially became an aged society in 2018. In the coming years, the challenges seen in Gongliao will spread and become common throughout the country. Dr. Lin won't be able to turn back the tides, but he's doing his bit by standing by this small countryside town he calls home.